So I'll explain to you some ideas that he had. That's when you start a business from scratch, whatever the job that needs to get done has to get done. And I'm sure that culture is still there at Eat Street. I think one of the things you see uh, successful entrepreneurs have is a bias for action. Uh, that they do some planning, but at the end of the day, they pretty quickly shift over to, okay, let's make it happen. Maybe a pop-up comes up of what restaurant it is. As the tasks have gotten bigger and more sophisticated, I think all three of them have been really successful at growing to meet that challenge. I think it's impressive that they haven't had to go outside to hire you know, new talent. I mean, they've just been able to grow with the company. Um, and when you go from really starting it to where they are now, I don't think that's typical. I think that's unique. The fact that Eric and Matt and Alex, they were all engaged with incredible passion and an incredible drive to actually make sure they delivered on what their customers wanted. They delivered on what the restaurants that they were serving uh, wanted. And they were always conscious of what can we do to make this a more attractive thing. Eat Street. It's like an elaborate network of food delivery tubes. To see where they started, where they are today, and really take it out to a national footprint. It was very impressive. Eat Street, take the smartest shortcut from hungry to happy. Well, you know, Matt, Eric, and Alex were all students here and at the same time balancing classes, internships. We find the ideal retailer. You had Eric was on the same residence hall floor as Matt, happened to be working uh, with Alex at an internship. My understanding is this was Eric's brainchild. They were ordering from a sub place, I think every day in the summer and, and the delivery driver showed up and said, you know, these guys are charging you, um, you should, and, and he walked into Matt's and said, we should do something different. And then had the wherewithal to say, hey, you know, I could use some technical help. Alex is sitting next to me, uh, get him on board. And then I know the guy who can help sell this uh, because we need a salesperson. Matt um, has a history in selling cars. He had been a great salesperson. So Eric knew, okay, I can count on Matt. Matt's gonna be the salesperson. Um, and then knowing Alex and his kind of developer talents, it was sort of a natural team. Every year we get about 6,000 of the country's smartest 18 year olds. They come here and what do they want? They want to learn, they want to broaden their horizons, uh, they're impatient, they want to make the world a better place, they want to make a place for them. That is perfect recipe for how you can take your own incentives and build something with it. And the community here in the university and in Madison is a great place for that to happen. I remember talking with Matt once when they were still Badger Bites about, you know, is that a scalable idea uh, when your aspirations are to go well beyond Madison? And uh, yeah, obviously they're Eat Street now, so it, you know, wouldn't have flown in Columbus, Ohio or <laughs> Ann Arbor, Michigan, just wouldn't have worked. So when Eat Street first started, right, it was an online food court. So you would go in and you would order things, but it, they, they did not do any of the delivery. Eat Street was not managing delivery drivers, they didn't have vehicles, they didn't have any of that. So now they are in sort of last mile delivery and beyond um, where they actually employ delivery drivers. And so Eat Street really now has taken, um, if you don't have delivery, we'll do it for you. If you have delivery, let us do it for you because it's probably gonna be cheaper and much less of a hassle for you if we just handle it. Um, so that was the change. The uh, CEO and co-founder of Eat Street. Yeah. <laughs> invite Matt, and he's very kindly makes time each year to come back and speak in my undergraduate lecture, which has about 200 students in it. Uh, I know this room well. I took Finance 300 and sat right up there. Uh, it's especially impactful because this is a product that most of the students have used. And how many of you have used Eat Street? The students really get excited by it because the story is one of you have this idea, you put in the work and you can move it forward and it can become something. It has so many employees, you know, is this large, has a national footprint in not that long of a time period is really pretty 
uh, exciting to the students. Once you have an idea, once you have a team, to really commit yourself to it and make it a reality. <laughs> it's a great Madison-based story. You know, the company is run by really down-to-earth, non-ego-driven people. They're a joy to work with, and I've personally been very fortunate to be a part of the journey. The majors represented there are econ, comp sci, engineering, uh, but actually none of them were business majors, yet they all have worked together in this entrepreneurial uh, venture to create a, a real business. This is a campus that wherever you are on the campus, you can be an entrepreneur. There are lots of resources available from all parts of the campus uh, to help you move your idea forward, and Eat Street's a great example of that.